One sad fact about incubating and hatching your own chicks in an incubator is that sometimes they don't hatch. Whether it was all of them or some of them, let's see if we can find out what might be going on. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Maybe you just finished a hatch in your incubator like I did and you had some chicks or some eggs that didn't hatch and you're wondering what happened. I'll tell you there could be a variety of reasons from your incubator failing to problems with the chickens and your breeding stock it can be all types of things. I have a suspicion we have a few of those issues going on today. So we're gonna go down and look. The key to finding out what happened is going to be candling your eggs to start and kind of looking at some clues to see what went on. So come on, let's go see what went on with my latest hatch. I did have lots and lots of chicks hatch in this, my last hatch. So to start off, if you had some chicks that hatched and some that didn't, that's hopefully the most common scenario because if nothing hatched, you most likely had either infertile eggs um, or your incubator had a major problem like a big fluctuation in temperature or your humidity or something. If nothing hatched, you know something was terribly wrong. Probably more likely you had a lot of chicks hatch, but you still had some that didn't. So this is my latest chick and he hatched he hatched several hours behind everybody else. And that is one indicator of a little bit of something being off is a big staggered hatch where you have chicks hatching within say 48 hours from the first to the last. And a lot of times that is hot spots in your incubator, some uneven heating, things like that. Even sometimes using different breeds. If you put bantams in, they, and some of my mixed breeds, will hatch almost a day earlier in some instances than some of the other breeds I put together. So sometimes it can just be a difference in the breed. This is what I have left out of all the eggs that I incubated. And I had only two of my olive eggers that didn't hatch. And this is more typical from what I see. So we're gonna candle and see what happened. I had two Brahmas that didn't hatch. And I like to look to see if they even started to pip or not, which none of these did. So we'll see. Now, the big problem that I'm having is every one of my black copper morans that I set did not hatch. So this one really concerns me, every one of a certain breed. So this indicates a big problem. So let's candle and see what's going on. Okay, here's one of the Brahmas that didn't hatch. And I see that this chick has not even pipped internally. You can tell by the air sac, um, is still intact in the bottom. If they've pipped inside, that whole egg is gonna be full. You won't see that air sac. I don't see any movement. I'm not gonna break this open to see what happened, but yeah, this chick didn't make it all the way to the end. Okay, same story with my remaining olive eggers. Not sure I could break these eggs open and see but since I had a good hatch with them, I'm not that concerned. So something happened again midway through because I've been candling. So I know these eggs were fertile and they did develop. They just didn't make it to hatch. By the way, if at any point you still hear, you hear peeping in those eggs, put them back in because they can hatch a couple days behind everybody else. So if you're hearing peeping, get them in there. And I always like to wait until it's well after to make sure I, I take into account for late hatchers. Okay, these are my Marin's eggs that I'm looking at, the ones that absolutely nobody hatched. So I'm really curious as to what happened. And this looks like we had, it had development and was looking like it neared hatch. What I very well may do with these, I'll spare you, but I may open these eggs and see what's going on because this could definitely be a problem with my breeding stock. These came out of my own coop. I don't know if I um, had them sitting around too long. I don't think I did. I don't know if maybe it was a super cold snap and something happened. Unfortunately, I don't have any clear answers on what happened with my Marin's eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and set some more and see what happens. Since some of them did look similar, I kind of suspect it might be from one hen. I'm hoping it was weather related, 
At the same time, that's a bad sign when all of them don't hatch. It can be a sign of maybe too much inbreeding or a genetic issue. It can also be vitamin deficiencies or just some problems with breeding stocks. So if I have this happen again, I'm going to have to get to the bottom of that by narrowing down you know, some single matings with those eggs. So hopefully this has helped you with some more common hatching issues you might run across with your incubation. You can do a Google search and find all types of symptoms and or indications, I'm not sure how you would say that, in the time of incubation that it happens. I also wanted to note that I candle probably three times during incubation, usually at one week or a little after, at two weeks, and then before that period of lockdown, which is the last three days of incubation. And all through there, I will take out clear eggs, that, and that just means they're infertile or they never developed and anything that looks super, super far behind during that incubation. So those were already out when we got to the end of the hatch. So again, I hope this helps you. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos.